still doubtful? I think so. What are we gonna do? Is she a zombie? <laughs> no. I'm not a zombie. I'm trying to escape from them. Are you for real? Yeah, are you for real? Five hours later. I miss Kairani though. Kairani? Are you from Kabul? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm from Kabul too. Oh, looks like we're all from the same homeland. Have you guys heard about Amir and Hassan thing? Oh yeah, they were the best Kairanas in Kabul, right? Amir and Hassan were like brothers. Hassan's dad works at Amir's house as a servant. So basically they're like so close since they're little so something bad happened after that right that made hassan and his father left the house i believe something did happen between amir and hassan and asif definitely had something to do with it oh yes after that the war happened right that time kabul was invaded by the soviets Amir and his Baba fled from the country and left everything behind. Oh, they settled in California, right? Rumors has it, Amir's Baba worked at a gas station. And I think Amir graduated there too. Mm. Oh, this is the best part. While waiting for his college application to be accepted, Amir would actually buy get and met the love of his life, Soraya. Oh, I heard that she is so quite sad. Amir's Baba passed away not long after the wedding. Mm -hmm. His Baba died due to an illness. Oh, well, that's, that's so sad. Amir and Soya were so perfect together, but unfortunately they didn't get to conceive their own child. I also heard that Rahim Khan reached out to Amir after he gained fame from his first book. Oh yeah, the news that he wrote for Amir was so shocking. Amir really thought he would never be able to connect with Hassan again. But Hassan was already dead when Amir first received the news. Amir went right away to Kabul once he found out that Hassan's son, Sohara, was still alive. But he went to an orphanage. Oh, right. But I also heard that when Amir actually got to the orphanage, Sohara wasn't even there. Apparently, he was sold to the Taliban. Well, now, here comes the plot twist. Do you know Asif? The bad guy? Yes, yes. He then became one of the Taliban leaders. Ew. That's expected to be honest. I... They managed to arrive safely in California. However, Jerry Tehrani with Soraya's dad was really happy with Sohra's presence in the house. Oh, it was because Sohra was Hazara, wasn't it? Yes, but luckily Ami stood up for Sohra when General Tehrani said bad things about him. Now that! Character development right there. Yes. yes. Right. Anyways, Ami and Soraya took really good care of Sora. They didn't have their own child, so they kind of considered him as their own. For you, a thousand times over. If there is anything that I have learned from the movie, it would be that a good friend would always stay by your side. Hassan has been loyal to Amir because he sees Amir as a friend, a brother even. And this kind of loyalty is hard to find and even harder to keep. I think this movie really taught me the real meaning of friendship and how everyone should have, should have a Hassan in their lives. Now moving on to current issues, I would be reflecting on the issue of discrimination against uh, different ethnics. So in the movie, I think we can all see that the discrimination is most visible towards the Hazara. And I think it's ridiculous how someone's ethnicity immediately determines their standing in the social hierarchy. But when you think about it, it is happening right here in Malaysia. The movie was set in 1960s when someone's ethnicity decides their social standing. But today in Malaysia, 2023, it is still happening. And I think that is... I believe that Kite Runner has been an eye-opening movie for me as it has raised uh, a lot of issues about Taliban. I remember asking my mother about what Taliban is, but I never really understood it. 
up until the point that I watched it in classroom, I can finally understand the difficulties that the people in Afghanistan had faced previously. Let's talk about um, betrayal issues in Kite Runner. Um, this theme is very prominent, especially in a scene where um, Hassan was brutally assaulted by Asif. So we could see that um, Amir's peers get the better of him. Uh, he decided not to stand up for Hassan because he was scared. He was a coward. So this event has affected uh, Amir and Hassan both emotionally and physically. If I have to point out what one moral value that I learned from this movie, it will probably be loyalty in friendship. In this movie, The Kite Runner, we can see that uh, the character Hassan is a very loyal friend towards um, Ami, uh, his childhood friend. And uh, the quote, for you a thousand times over, uh, it proves that Hassan would do anything just to make sure Ami is happy. Uh, now we're moving on to the issue that we will discuss in this movie, which is betrayal. Um, in this movie, um, the betrayal happened when Ami accused Hassan for stealing his watch um, when he didn't do it. And Ami himself knew that uh, Hassan wouldn't do that. And um, he made that accusation just to make sure Baba lose respect and trust towards Hassan. Um, and he didn't want Baba to love Hassan as much as he loves Ami. One of the things in the Kite Runner movie that has moved me is the family love that is shown throughout the story. It is important because their support keeps us moving forward. For example, Rahim Khan and Baba show their love differently. While Rahim Khan supports Ami with his writing, Baba always wants the best for Amir and protects him more than his own life. Moving on, let's talk about the discrimination and racism throughout the story. For example, Hassan being a Hazara blood positioned him lower than other people in the story and he is perceived as a dirty slave. The people at the top thinking that they have the right to violate someone's life just because they are thought thinking they are worth more than the others. It is sad to see that those people are treated with so much injustice even nowadays. Almost every country faces the same problem. From my perspective, it starts with early education. Parents especially have to teach their children to be kind and respect others in hope that one day the situation can be improved as a whole. Remember that what goes around comes around.